Yo, what's good? BLS TV. Shout out to the LDBC Lions Den basketball community. It's your boy Brandon Love Sports TV. I want to do another video, uh, kind of basically just further describing something I put in my community post when I was talking about earlier when I showed the score between I think the Boston Celtics and the uh, I forget who they were playing. It was Boston and Atlanta, I think it was, or something like that, maybe the Orlando Magic. And it was like 143 to 110. And I was just talking about how the defense of today has fallen off because everybody is more concerned with shooting three-pointers, offense, to where defense has become a lost art. Nobody's even paying attention to defense anymore. Uh, and it's sad that we're in that day and age in the game of basketball where it's just about who can score the most points, who can be seen the most, who, you know, can be a human highlight reel. And people are less concerned about playing fundamental basketball and winning games by going out there and, and doing what they're supposed to do and playing the game right with integrity. You know, people getting back on defense. You hit a three-point shot. I remember when I played basketball, my coach, you know, in high school, I know, and I wasn't no professional like them, but I remember my, our coaches get, get on our butt about not getting back on defense. You know, you make a good shot, you're happy on one end, you make a three-point shot, you get a dunk on one end. And, you know, he would yell at you, McCullough, get back on defense. You know, and that was a, that was, it was a time where defense was important. When it used to be an honor to be, become, to be called Defensive Player of the Year in the NBA. When Michael Jordan used to win them joints year after year after year, man. And it just, it was, it was a big thing. Kobe, them wanted to be, they wanted to be great. Uh, I almost said, uh, but no, nah, not, not, uh, not Dominique Wiggins. He, he didn't play no, he didn't play a lick of defense. But the, but the old school guys, Patrick Ewing, Akeem Olajuwon, who to me is probably top. He might be the greatest defensive player of all time. One, one of the top. I got Joe Dumars up there. I got uh, Akeem Olajuwon, uh, David Robinson, you know, um, a lot of those guys. Dennis Rodman probably, you know, probably my top four or five greatest defensive players that I've seen in my lifetime. Moses Malone was a pretty good defender. Uh, but now we're in a day and age, man, when people just they don't, they don't care about defense no more. They just want to score. And that's why we've got these, these games where the, the score, final score will be like 100 and, 52 to 145, you know what I'm saying? I mean, those are like all-star game numbers, man. There's no reason why you two professional basketball teams playing each other in the NBA, in an NBA game, should be giving up those kind of points. But, you know, that's, that's, that's the era we're in, where everybody wants to, be, wants to be fancy. James Harden, them guys, who couldn't care less about playing no defense. And those are your hero, heroes. You know, these guys are disgusting. You know, they make the game of basketball look really, really bad because they don't care about things, you know, that may not mean a lot to, to them. But, you know, last I checked, you know, basketball is supposed to be played on both ends of the floor, offense and defense. The objective is to score more points than the other team, but it's also to stop the other team from scoring. So y'all give me y'all thoughts. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the, in the comments section. Uh, this is what I'm seeing, and it, it's, it's disgusting how people are giving up these kind of points. All right, y'all. Brand Love Sports TV, it's your boy, I'm out.